Hello there, boxing fans around the world. Thanks for joining me once again here on Talk and Fight for another episode of Boxing News today. Uh, we're going to skirt across the pond over to Boxer, who made a big announcement. They've signed heavyweight Martin Bacoli uh, to a long-term deal. Uh, we've been talking about Martin uh, for a long, long time. We think he's one of the up and rising uh, heavyweights who will certainly begin to dominate in that division. Let's read uh, what Boxer has to say. Uh, new boxer signing Martin Bacoli has his sights set on huge heavyweight nights after he put his pen to paper on a new long-term fight deal. Ranked by the ranked at the top by the Boxing Asso World Boxing Association, the 29-year-old heavyweight, 18 and one with 13 knockouts, who now resides in Scotland, will fight exclusively for boxer on Sky Sports. His next fight will be announced in due course, but Bacoli believes he's destined for huge success. I'm absolutely thrilled, he said, to join boxer and perform on the biggest platform in Sky Sports. That's all keep in mind. That's in the UK. Uh, I will build on my last performance in Paris against Tony Yoka and soon become the new world heavyweight champion. Wow. So uh, CEO uh, of Boxer and founder Ben Shalom must be really excited about this deal. He said this is a huge heavyweight signing. Martin is at the top of the WBA rankings and he's destined to del deliver great things without a doubt. We're delighted uh, to add him to our world-class roster. He l loves his life in Scotland and is training hard alongside Billy Nelson, whom we are grateful for all his support. So let's see what uh, comes up in terms of next fights for him. Um, now let's whip over across the pond to the United States. Fire Fist Boxing Promotions and Ray's Boxing Promotions are proud to announce they'll join forces under the name Ray's Fire Fist Boxing Promotions. I might have said Firefox. Fire Fist. Headquartered in Tampa, Florida, Fire Fist's stable includes undefeated NABA middleweight champ and WBA number five ranked contender Connor Coyle, NABA super middleweight champion and WBA number five and WBC number seven ranked Yamaguchi Falcoa and lightweight contender William Silva. Fire Fist's cards have taken place throughout the Tampa Bay region and their fighters have been featured on a variety of different networks. Uh, let's have a quick look here. So, based in Salem, Massachusetts, Ray's boxing uh, provided an opportunity for fighters to stay active while building their fan base throughout the New England and beyond area. Uh, several Ray's boxers appeared on major fight cards throughout the U.S. And uh, the stable includes unbeaten prospects Gabriel Morales, Chris Thompson, Joe, Joe James, Harry Gigliotti, uh, Rodrigo Herrera, Dana Balano, Sergio Martin Sosa, among others. Jody and I have built a great relationship the last few years, said Mike Reyes. He's an honest, fair person and always has the fighter's best interest at hand. The most important thing is we're on the same page when it comes to the boxing business. We're going to be extremely transparent with everybody involved because that's the proper way of conducting business. Ray's Fire Fist Boxing Promotions inaugural card is scheduled for Saturday, April 29th at the Hilton Carillion in St. Petersburg, Florida, followed by a show Saturday, June 24th at Memorial Auditorium in Lowell, Massachusetts, and back in St. Petersburg on Saturday, July 15th at the Marriott Carillion again. All right, good stuff. Uh, they'll announce future dates in the near future, without a date. Good stuff from uh, Fire Fist Boxing and Ray's Boxing. Ah, International Boxing Hall of Fame members, Juan Manuel Marquez, nine-time world champion in four weight classes and four-time world champion Humberto Gonzalez are co-promoting a boxing event on Wednesday, February 8th at the Auditorio Blackberry in Mexico City. And it'll be streamed live on Pro Box TV, by the way, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The main event, a 10-round super bantamweight fight between Brian Rivera, and uh, out of Mexico, by the way, and Alejandro Gonzalez, also out of uh, Mexico. Um, a co-feature, eight-rounder in the flyweight division, Francisco Arrucho, out of Mexico, 
and uh, he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Ivan Garcia, also out of Mexico. Um, promoter and boxing legend Juan Manuel Marquez gave his take on the, the action. He goes, I'm excited for JMM's first promotion in Mexico City on Pro Box TV. There's some great prospects like Guillermo Keb and Jaime Asuna. I'm excited for them, and I wish them great things for the future. We'll have a full rundown here. Let's have a quick look. Uh, so in addition to the two fights I mentioned, Jesus Estrada is going up against Lavari Lopez. Uh, Emilio Toscano going up against Sergio Manzo in the flyweight division. Uh, Jose Guillermo versus uh, Brian Sanchez in the featherweight division. I mentioned, I think, Jaime Osuna, Israel Resendez going four rounds in the junior middleweight division. So uh, that's the information that we have for now. We look forward for more information out of Mexico. Um, boom. And here's some uh, interesting news out of uh, Mexico. Sa Samson Lukowitz out of Samson Boxing and Paco Damien out of Paco Presents proudly announced the signing of a pair of undefeated 23-year-old Mexican teammates from uh, Sonora, Mexico. Featherweight Christian Olivo Barreta and lightweight Omar Salcido Gomez, two multi-year co-promotional contracts. Uh, trained and managed by Alfredo Leon Lopez, Alivo and Salcido have decorated amateur careers, and both are now confident this move will secure opportunities and big fights in, in the U.S. with PBC and Showtime. Alivo, by the way, is 20-0-1 with seven knockouts, and he won the WBC World Silver Featherweight Championship by besting then undefeated 12-0 Adrian Montoyo. That was back in January 2021. Then in February 2021, Salcido, uh, 16-0, by the way, took out then undefeated Jesus Ayala, 15-0-1 by wide unanimous decision. Both fighters say the new promotional move bodes well for their boxing fortunes moving forward, without a doubt. Let's move along quickly now to another, oh, one of our favorites here on Talk and Fight, Richard Torres. The train keeps on rolling. Uh, Olympic silver medalist Richard Torres, after his stunning knockout, uh, which was featured on Knockout of the Week by Mike Orr, and I believe also featured by Cedric Ben. He looks to continue his knockout streak, and he's going to take on Willie Jake Jr. I'll take place at Fresno's Save Mart Center and, and be shown live on ESPN. He's not wasting any time. The U.S. silver medalist who scored a first-round stoppage victory against James Bryant last weekend at the Desert Diamond Arena will return in a six-rounder against Willie Jake Jr. on Saturday, March 25th at the Save Mart Center in Fresno, California. The Torres Jake Jr. will open the televised triple header headlined by junior welterweight showdown between Jose Ramirez and Richard Comey and the minimum weight title unification bout between WBA champions Sinicia Estrada and WBC Queen Tina Ruprak. So that is going to be a tremendous card, uh, as we say, taking place out in uh, California. Good stuff. So I have one more story. Uh, another great fight coming up here from um, New York City taking place in Sony Hall. This will take place pretty soon, actually, February 23rd. Uh, Sony Hall in Times Square, New York City. Former world champion Heather the Heat Hardy will take another step to becoming a contender once again when she battles former Brazilian champion Tanya Cardosa on February 23rd, as I said, Sony Hall in the heart of Times Square, Midtown Manhattan. Hardy versus Cardosa. It's an eight-round super featherweight bout. It's the main event of the show promoted by Boxing Insider in association with uh, Debella Entertainment. Tickets are now on sale, of course, and feature on TalkAndFight.com, I might add. Uh, featured in the, on the undercard is a battle of undefeated knockout authorities, Colombia native Juan Carrillo and Plainfield, New Jersey's Akheim Nurse in an eight-round light heavyweight bout. Rounding out the cart, Brooklyn's Frederick French Revolution Julan will clash with South Jersey's De Carlo Perez in an eight-round light heavyweight bout. Dunkirk, New York's Elon de Leon Jesus uh, will fight in a six-round super bantamweight contest against Juan Pablo Meza in New York's Marshalls. Hughes and Nelson Morales will battle in a four-round super lightweight contest. Opening the show will be Mongolia's Sen Batar 
Erdenabat opposing Chile's Christian Oliveras in a six-round super featherweight bout. Uh, we're very grateful to Debella Entertainment and Boxing Insider for going all out of their way to ensure me a slot on the show that will be honoring my late trainer, mentor, and papa, Hector Roca, said Hardy. The day before he died, we sat in his hospital room, me in the corner of his bed. He put his hand over mine and said, baby, they all think you're past your prime, but you don't hit it yet. This is going to be your year. So I'm training hard, she says, as always, and be ready. I'm excited to start 2023 off right here in front of my New York City fans for Papa. Good for her, good for those fighters, and good news for New York City altogether. Good stuff. All right. Thank you once again for joining me here on Talk and Fight. Appreciate it. Remember to uh, share, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you later on at 4 p.m. when I join Mike Warren, Cedric Man, for their show, Knuckle Up. Thank you.